I just got the new Wahoo Kicker Smart Trainer. I'm planning to maintain and maybe improve my cycling fitness. Stick around and I'll show you how to connect with thousands of cyclists around the world without even leaving home. Press the blue release button to spread the support leg. Adjust the angle of the kicker to your bike. Unscrew the retention knob. The adjustment to the base angle can be tight and might need some additional persuasion with a rubber mallet. Line up the correct marking with the support arm. Insert the retention knob and tighten. Take the back wheel off your bike by shifting into the smallest cog on the front and the smallest cog on the back. Install your kicker in place of a back wheel. Adjust the leveling feet to eliminate any rocking and lock the leveling foot. If everything's done correctly, your gear should work perfectly. After all, it's just like changing a back wheel. Now that your Wahoo kicker is assembled, let's connect to the world of Zwift. First, decide how you would like to configure your system based on available devices. For maximum performance, a computer with a high-end graphics card and lots of memory and a good size monitor or smart TV is recommended. The Wahoo Kicker uses Bluetooth or Ant Plus to connect to the Zwift application. Zwift does not currently support direct two-way Bluetooth communication between your trainer and PC. For Ant Plus connection, you will need to buy a compatible Ant Plus dongle. On a Mac, Zwift does support direct Bluetooth connection to your Wahoo Kicker. You can also run Zwift on a tablet or smartphone if it is powerful enough to handle the graphics. Zwift companion app turns your smartphone or tablet into a remote control you can operate while riding. It's a little difficult to use a keyboard and a mouse while you're on the bike. That's where the Zwift companion app comes in handy. You can run it on a smartphone or tablet and mount your smartphone or tablet to your bike or a nearby table. For initial configuration of your Wahoo Kicker, download the Wahoo Fitness app Plug in your Kicker Power Trainer, ensure Bluetooth is turned on on your phone or tablet, and open the Wahoo Fitness app. Select Sensors in the bottom left and Add New Sensor. Choose your Kicker from the available sensors. If this is your first time pairing, take a moment to register your Kicker. Be sure to update your firmware if you are prompted. Lastly, you will need to perform a spin down to calibrate your kicker for the first use and every couple of weeks afterwards. Select Done to complete the pairing and workout selection process. Your kicker is now paired and ready for action. To connect via Bluetooth on a PC, you will need to connect the kicker to your computer using the Zwift Companion app running on a smartphone or tablet. Using your smartphone or tablet, download the Zwift Companion app. If you are going to run Zwift on a PC or Mac, visit the Zwift.com website on your computer. Create a Zwift account. Then download the Zwift program and then install it on your computer. On your computer, open the Zwift program. Click the Let's Go button. On your smartphone or tablet, it's a good idea to refresh the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. Go to your settings, turn your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off, and then turn them on again. This will refresh the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. On your smartphone or tablet, open the Zwift companion app and pair your devices. Once paired, you're ready to pick a route and start riding. With the companion app, you can check out other riders, give ride-ons, see a wider view of the map, 
I just got a ride on from Courtney. Chat with all the riders nearby or direct message specific riders you choose to follow. I just received a drafting boost bonus. You can ring the bell, say ride, ride on, on, ride on, wave. You can say your toast. I'm toast. Or say nice. Nice. You can change your point of view. T. Knut just delivered a thunderstorm. That's when you give five ride-ons to the riders adjacent to you while you're pedaling. I'm going to claim my drafting boost bonus. Hang a U-turn and unlock an achievement. You can change your route by turning at an intersection. All this while improving your fitness and having fun. So stay inside and have a great ride. Ride on!